I think this seminar is quite useful because it brings in uh, two large communities in the world, the ASEAN and the Pacific Alliance, and two huge markets uh, with a lot of potential. And uh, with the participants, uh, the knowledge that they bring, the experience they bring, uh, it will help uh, the knowledge sharing, uh, information sharing about two uh, large economies in the world and uh, in the process uh, help exchange ideas uh, and uh, try to form some uh, consensus around how to uh, combine the activities of the two markets and uh, trade with each other and develop both economies. ASEAN has been trying to lower uh, barriers for a very long time. Uh, as you know, the countries in ASEAN, uh, even before ASEAN community was formed, uh, people have been trading for centuries. So it's a natural alliance uh, and that needed to be formalized by the government. And over time they had reduced barriers and increased trade and with increasing trade as well as uh, increased mobilization uh, of the people, uh, what we are seeing in Asia and ASEAN is that uh, income, uh, employment is growing, income is growing and productivity is growing as well as countries are getting richer. Uh, so our experience in Asia is uh, the way to go, move forward is to lower barriers and increase trade and uh, exchange. It's a important initiative uh, to bring together uh, both markets, countries and, and people. Uh, only by uh, greater interaction uh, between businesses uh, and people uh, you can expand the economy. Obviously, you have taken the first steps in reducing the barriers uh, and exchanging uh, ideas and information. Uh, it would help uh, if you could expand your reach by uh, expanding the alliance with, uh, with other countries with a greater market reach. To start with, to engage in global value chain, uh, you need to focus on your strengths. Uh, the factors where you actually have a relative advantage. And uh, once you start specializing uh, in those segments of value chains where you have the greatest advantage, and starting with that, uh, the experience in Asia is, once you start engaging in uh, a particular global value chain, uh, it starts to create uh, an ecosystem whereby uh, economy develops around the segments of the global value chain that you have localized. And in that, uh, local businesses start to uh, develop uh, around supplying services and products to the value chains. Uh, in the process, you create uh, local value chains, regional value chains, and uh, increase employment and income. Uh, so, uh, participating in global value chain uh, at the level, uh, at a segment where you have the greatest advantage uh, is, is the starting point, is the right starting point. And uh, moving forward, um, countries should look to diversify because uh, depending only on one segment uh, is uh, pretty um, dangerous, uh, so to speak. Uh, because of changes in, because over time uh, you will have uh, changes in the world economy 
uh, which could uh, change the demand market and supply markets and so on. So it is uh, necessary to diversify, uh, but for which you need a long-term long plan and a long-term investment in, for example, mainly in human capital, uh, in education, uh, in infrastructure, uh, and also in uh, a public policy, economic policy that look to, uh, on a long term, uh, in the next 10, 20, 50 years. So far, when you look at trade relationship, uh, the divide has been the distance. Uh, however, as you know, with the advancements made in technology, uh, information and communication technology as well as transportation technology, the distance is closing. Uh, so there is a huge opportunity uh, for uh, trade relationship or improved or increased trade relationship between Asia and South America and especially Chile. Uh, because Chile is on the uh, on this side of the uh, Pacific Ocean, and uh, and it is a gateway to uh, South America, and uh, with greater interaction between the business communities uh, of the two uh, economies, uh, ASEAN and the Pacific clients, uh, it will be easy to see uh, them uh, looking at uh, them uh, forming opportunities. Uh, for better trade relationship in the future. And uh, what is uh, necessary is for the policy makers to make policy that enable uh, and promote this trade relationship. Uh, uh, they also have to develop uh, infrastructure, uh, such as uh, port facilities, harbors, um, uh, the road networks, uh, and also the have the policy to have the right investment in, uh, enable the investment from other countries to come in and set up businesses and trade uh, throughout uh, South America. So I see uh, there's a great uh, uh, possibilities and potential uh, for this uh, alliance, uh, Pacific Alliance as well as uh, ASEAN.